firstly i will discuss how to assert the json key value and also i will discuss how to work with the nested json objects so here i'm using the get booking details api so before i read the details i will create the one booking and i will send it here we got the booking id here then i will get the booking details so let me hit it once again so let me create a fresh booking again right we got the details now so here let's assert the first name is equal to the testers or not so here i will go to the tests tab then i will select on the right side response body json value check so that's it so here i will specify the test name as verify first name so that's it so i will keep this line number 6 as a global so that we will use this response you know throughout the our test assertions so in the in this particular line number 5 so simply we are reading the api response and we are converting into the json object and after that we are storing saving that particular json object into the json data by using this json data this is uh, that is nothing but the, this particular response it is having so, so the, in this case it is basically this json data variable is holding the this particular api response so by using this object we will access the this particular first name here so that's it and here i'll specify the expected value here i'm specifying the expected value as test s. so that's it very simple so here we are reading the api response in the line number five and in the line number seven we are asserting it so this is this particular statement we are using json data dot first name this will returns the api response first name then here we have we have specified the expected value so that's it so previously we we had only one test that is for verifying the status code now it will have this particular get booking details api will have two tests if you look at this test results so firstly it has verified the status code as 200 then it is verifying the first name so let's try to verify the <coughs> sorry so let's try to verify the one numeric value so we have verified the string that is the first name so let's try to verify the total price as 1000 so simply i'll copy the line number 6 7 and 8 and i'll come down and i'll paste it here i'll specify the test name as verify total price so that's it then in the line number 11 i will specify the key as total price then here i'll specify the i will remove this whole string and then directly i'll specify the value so if you are ver verifying the numeric value you have to specify the directly the value there so that's it let's execute the api now right so if you look at this test results so all our three assertions are getting passed first one we are verifying the status code then first name then total price so this is how you can verify the simple json object key value pairs so now let's discuss how to work with the nested json objects so if you look at this response of this get api that is a get booking details api so these key and respective value we can directly access it but if i try to access this check in or check -in, check out date we cannot access so let's try to access first because this these two attributes are present because these keys are present inside the another object called booking dates so let's try to access directly then i will show you how to access the nested json object key value so let's try to access the check in date firstly by using the normal json object so here i'll specify the check in key then i will specify this particular date then i will rename this test name as verify check in date so that's it so here we are trying to access this particular check in date 
by using the simple json concept but this json key is present inside the another json object so this time it does not work i mean it will fail the assertion of the test so let's hit the send button now if you look at this particular test result and it is getting failed right so it is getting failed because this check in check in key is present inside the another json object so let's specify this object name after the json data dot then i'll specify the booking dates dot check in so now execute the this api so if you look at this test results all the test assertions are getting passed if you look at the checking date it is getting passed so previously it was getting failed because this particular check in check in key is present inside the another json object called booking booking dates so that's it it is very simple let's try to assert the checkout date as well so i will copy the same test again i will come down and i'll paste it here here i'll specify it as a checkout date as a test name so here i'm <coughs> i'm specifying the test name as verify checkout date then so we have to specify the key name so i will simply copy this one and i'll paste it here so similarly i'll pass the respective value there so that's it it is very simple so let's execute the api now If you look at this test results, all the test assertions are getting passed, including the check-in date and checkout date also. Right. So this is how you can work with the JSON key value and nested sorry nested JSON object key. Value.